The U.S. Marshals and the SOFAS Task Force round up suspected drug dealers in Clark County, and the day ends with 10 people behind bars. Sonu Wasu was with officials during the manhunt and is live in the newsroom with a look at the charges. Megan, Sheriff's officials tell me most of these suspects were indicted on charges of trafficking cocaine. Sheriff Gene Kelly is calling this one of the most successful years he's had in terms of getting drug dealers off Clark County streets. Hey, man, what'd you do? One by one, they're pulled out of bed and hauled off to jail. This is our end of the year roundup. What the sheriff is calling his winter cleanup of neighborhoods ended with 10 people arrested on a total of 31 different charges, majority of them for trafficking drugs and violating their parole. You're going to be spending New Year's in jail? Probably so. Unless I bond out again. Authorities say most of these arrests came as a result from phone calls, letters, or emails sent to their office by concerned citizens wanting to get drug dealers out of their community. He asks people to be patient as they investigate these crimes. The normal course of an investigation takes about three months to start uh, surveillance and then send agents in to make controlled buys. Similar drug sweeps have led to dozens of other arrests. Clark County ends the year with the arrest of 74 drug dealers charged with a total of 193 different crimes. And these individuals are the cause for many other crimes. People are stealing uh, out of cars, breaking into houses, stealing from businesses to get the cash to buy the drugs. Now, if you suspect drug activity in your neighborhood, sheriff's officials urge you to contact them. They tell us community policing is the way to go if you want to get drug dealers off your street. They rely on tips from you to step in and start their surveillance. Reporting live, Sonu Wasu, 2 News on your side. Meanwhile,